Hello and welcome back to WP Club. In today's tutorial, we are going to review a rather interesting plugin which is called Printus. So, without wasting your time, let's head right into the video and see what the plugin offers. So, we are in the uh, landing page of Printus uh, website, and uh, you can find their website in the link that I will leave in the description down below. And here, as you can see, Printus is a hustle free cloud printing uh, uh, plugin for WooCommerce, and it works with any printer, with any operation si um, system anywhere in the world. It is reliable, uh, which I would say that uh, up to this day, Printus has done over 3 billion printing jobs, which means that it is actually reliable. It is flexible, as I've mentioned, because um, it works with any type of operation system, with any printer, and um, it is tested, so it has very reliable uh, team working on it, and it is also a very developer friendly plugin and it is lightning fast which by the way if you stay with me till the end of the video we are also going to um, test the plugin so besides going through the dashboard of its features we're also going to put the plugin into action and see whether it actually works the way it does um, it is very important to note that if you are planning on using the plugin, you um, keep in mind that you should have um, a plugin of which is um, another software, I'm sorry, another software which is called Print Node. So you need to act install uh, Print Node, use its API in order to connect your printer to the print node and then connect it to the printers. Uh, they have a very uh, detailed documentation on this, so if you have any questions, um, you can directly connect them, uh, connect with them, or you can check out their uh, documentation. Um, among the most uh, major brands that work with printers are HP, Canon, uh, Brother at Your Side, um, Epson, where if you see those company, uh, companies trusting uh, a product, you know that the product does the job. So without wasting your time, I really want to cut to the chase and let's check out the dashboard. All right, so now we are in the back end of our testing website. So as you can see, here is Printus. This is how you need to search to find the plugin. And this is the logo, basically something that we have already seen in the website. And let's go to the backend. I've already activated the plugin just to not waste your time on that. And here on the uh, first section, the first thing you see is the API configuration. So basically here you need to take the API key from um, a print node. So this is the print node here. I have already configured the account because it also takes some time. Um, and by the link API, uh, dot printnode.com you can you can create an API which you will use in the plugin so here as you can see I've generated an API um, and we just simply copy this API and paste it and save it um, and this is it now let's go to the general settings and once we go to the general settings we have the plug three sections which two sections which is the plugin setup and the printer setup so for the plugin set, uh, setup, here we first have the trigger. So for the trigger, you uh, basically configure it when uh, the printing is going to uh, take place, whether it is going uh, to print uh, the receipt or invoice, uh, when the checkout is complete, when the order is complete, or when the payment is complete. Let's, for example, go order complete. So uh, once you let's go with checkout complete. So once we complete the checkout process, there will be a printing and then you can uh, name your store. Um, let's name it WP Champions. And um, after that, uh, you can enter a phone number for your store. So these are details that are going to appear uh, on the document. So you can choose uh, either to fill in these uh, details or to leave it uh, concerning the number and the store name. And then we have the printer setup. So once you um, 
set, successfully set up the print node and then the API, you just uh, need to click on refresh printers. So I just noticed you can first of all uh, do the printer setup, um, after that do the plugin setup or once you do the plugin setup make sure to click on save changes because once you refresh printers for your printer to appear it is going to um, like not to say uh, not, uh, refresh and not save the plugin setup. So okay, so once we do this again, let's click on checkout and let's name our store WP Champions. Here we have the information and then let's leave the number blank. And here we have the select printer. So let's select. So we have this Canon uh, LBP printer um, and let's click on save changes. So once you do this, you have the configurations. Your printer is connected to printers. And then we have the template settings, as I've mentioned. Printus offers pre-templates. Uh, you can select print um, printer uh, paper size, and here you can see that uh, we have two um, templates. One is Cumulus, which is A4 and above formatted. Uh, pages, papers, and then we have Nimbus, uh, which has a different um, sizing, which is uh, 80 millimeter size paper. So let's go with Kumuls because, because we have an A4 formatted uh, paper. And then we have the paper type. So we have uh, default options in um, enter manually, which you can enter the parameters manually. But if it is an A4, you can just click on default and it is just going to be um, A4 uh, legal or letter or the um, 80 millimeter continuous receipt paper that I mentioned. Uh, you can include the currency symbol as well if, if you want to. And then we have product table settings. Here you have the table heading. Um, so here we have product table settings. Here you can customize the fonts and then font size. And after we have the MISC text settings uh, where again you can make deta detailed customization. I'm just not going to go into details to save time. And then we have localization settings where you can make the customization per your time zone. Um, so basically localize and here you have all the strings for items, price and for quantity, um, whether it is going to for the invoice, you can change the input to invoice or whatever. Um, and for the date, you can change it to any other input if you want to. And this is basically it. And in the tool section, if you activate this uh, setting uh, on uninstall, all your data is going to be deleted and you can also clear cache. So this is basically it. Now let's cut to the most important part and let's finally test the plugin. So as you remember, we triggered the plugin to work while a checkout is complete. So let's go to a shop. Let's uh, proceed with this uh, product, for example, and click to add to cart. And let's uh, proceed to checkout. And let's um, accept all the policies and click on place an order. So as you can see, in the meantime, that uh, in another room we are placing an order, the plugin is going to um, create an invoice for the checkout. So this was it for our today's tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions concerning Printus, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Also, do not forget to check out the tool uh, by the link that I will leave in the description below the video. And also do not forget to leave a like, comment, hit your notification bell, subscribe and do all of that so that we keep making interesting tutorials and reviews on WordPress. See you in the next tutorial.